have arrived. Um, I finally have a few. I didn't order a lot of these, um, but I finally have the flex plates, the stainless steel uh, flex plates. And I just wanted to show you that, you know, when you have aluminum or polycarbonate flex plate, uh, I don't know why you'd want aluminum flex plate, but if you have steel um, magnets stick to it so you can hold it down, you can build something that, that holds this down. And then you can just pop that, whoa, you can pop that off. Probably want to grab it by the corners. Then you can get some good bend out of it. Um, but it's, it's very stiff. And you could flip it over every time you used it. Uh, you might wonder why is there a hole in it, and that is so the zinc plater can hang that on a hook and dip it into his tank. So each one of these have one little hole. They're not intended to uh, be indexing holes at all like the Simple Pro has. It kind of fits over four screws and like finds where it needs to be and then holds down and then doesn't slip. You want to clip these down. And you know, if these get scratched, it's not a big deal. Um, but I'll tell you, adjust your sensor before you print. Um, luckily, it's the opposite of like if you were, uh, really what you don't want to do is adjust it for this and then remove the print plate, very dense steel, and it will have a very high uh, offset with the sensor because it's very dense. It's an induction sensor. You take this out and try to print, and it's going to plunge into that aluminum because it's very soft, not very dense metal. And it'll scrape, and you'll hear all kinds of crazy noise, and you probably ruin your hot end. So um, make sure you adjust for this, and then just use this, and make sure you don't have this huge offset when you try to print on aluminum again. It'll be very different. <laughs>